minister. I've never heard it so quiet. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Everybody is desperately quiet. John Leyland saying nothing. Margaret saying nothing. Carol saying nothing. I, Carol's obviously nervous. <laughs> Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We. This hand will guide my throne and run, and I'll never walk alone. No, I'll never walk alone. While introduce you to the lovely carol carol this is your show I... are you excited yes very <laughs> are you going to do the magic mute yes i can do yes oh that'll be lovely yeah. and you just have to go one through three mute all one two three mute all and then there was a magic silence isn't that wonderful? Carol, would you like to tell us what we've got in store this week, please? Yes, I will. Um, right, to start with, we've got, Deck will be asking me how my January went, and I'll be asking him um, how his January went. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we've got, I'll see you in my dreams. And then we've got Deck's tech tip for this month. Um, the old video diaries from March and May 2018. That's followed by my best year, which coincidentally is also 2018. Um, then we've got my best friend. And then we've got the birthdays where we go over to Lynn Hayes, who will tell us who's got a birthday. And we'll also find out how far the cake has travelled this week. Um, then we've got I Believe. And then we've got my six photos which i'll explain what was what i was getting up to in all of those and then we've got goodbye with she's not here a new recording by deck of the zombies 1960s hit what so how was my month how was your month let's get on to your month first how okay. did you get on this, well, this month Carol? january is as always very quiet i didn't really get up to much um but I did go to the local college in the in Crediton and the school put on Legally Blonde the musical and it was fantastic they even had two dogs yeah. two live dogs and they were very, very well behaved um the, the songs were I'd never heard any of the songs but there was one which is called Ireland and all the cast do a jig an Irish jig so, which was fun. So, yeah, that was really, that's my January. It wasn't, apart from meeting friends for coffee on a couple of occasions, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> was it cold up in your place for last month, yeah? Sorry? Was it cold in your place? On last and month? off, yeah, we did have some cold weather, yeah. Yeah. Minus We're... six one night. And... Yeah, we were we were right right down, and on the coast it's very unusual, but we seem mm. to get a blast somehow. But yeah, we are. but my month last last time was uh, really really good. It was terrific, and as usual, I tried to do a little video of what we'd done, and here is what I got up to last month. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> oh dear. Doing ever so well. Now that is really good. Very trendy. Very trendy. All the way into Tesco without going into the pub. Yes, it really is something. 
Toggle trees at the front. Good Lord. That is snow. That is snow. <laughs> I haven't seen snow like that for years here. I'm cold, cold, cold. My garden is looking very, very, very snowy. And the forlorn little chairs down there. All my brother's flowers aren't there. But the rose is there. And I will go down and show you that rose someday. Very lucky to be living here at Stanton Prior. The view out my bedroom window is just unbelievable when the snow is unbelievable. Look at that. Um, we've all got to be desperately careful nowadays with the heating and all that. We used to have the place up to 23, 24, sometimes 25 degrees. But everybody has got to be sensible nowadays. And uh, it's a bit difficult, but uh, we've taken now to doing our heating manually. So we put the heating on when we get up in the morning and switch it off when we go to bed at night, which is not, it's going back to the old days really, but sensible. And we've got those little small heaters which uh, I think I've told you about before, the, the small ones, and uh, they really work. And the strange thing is, when you put the, the Christmas lights on, the place feels warmer. But everybody's got to do their bit at the moment, thanks to the Russians, and uh, man's inhumanity to man. Will it ever end, we ask ourselves. Mr. Putin has just had to find some humility, I admit, that his way is not the way of the world today. Everybody should love each other and everybody should get on. Yes. <laughs> that was quick. And I wish. And a wish. I've already done a wish. Oh, you've done a wish, yeah. have you? I need a fork. That's for cutlery for all of us. And then the day came. Victoria had her major operation on her knee. You probably know. She was performing one night and two drunken idiots got on the stage and fell on top of her, snapped her knee like a footballer on the football pitch. Marvellous recovery after the operation. And then, you wouldn't believe it, she has snapped her hamstring. Ah, what an unlucky girl. But she's making a great recovery now. And just before she had the operation, she got me to go along and help her do a gig. Got me up singing. I sang four songs. Would you believe it? The last one they insisted I sing was I Believe. But <laughs> I've decided and I've now been booked for three gigs in the near future. I'll let you know where they are at a venue near you. Bye. Mm. <laughs> Oh, no, that. <laughs> and, and the good thing is, I just got an email this morning. You know, this sounds on Sunday. They want to do it actually commercially now and send it to all the uh, women's institutes and all that right through the country. And wow. I know, it's huge. <laughs> and I, I shouldn't really tell, don't tell anybody because somebody else will nick the idea. It wasn't my idea at all. It was an agent who got through to me, but uh, it'd be lovely to do this sort of thing as almost like a television show every week, which would be really, really nice. But um, yeah, Con's Rose, uh, I can't wait for the spring. When do roses come out? Anybody know? Put your hand up. Anybody know when roses come out? 
Margaret, you look like a gardener. Are you a gardener? Speak to me. <laughs> no, not at all. But I would have thought June, July sort of time. Yeah, yeah. So we've got to wait till June and July. I will take a camera down and I will take photographs and, and let you know what's going on with Connors Rose. And the other thing is, I looked, I couldn't believe that I filmed that thing, you know, looking out the window and that, obviously, just as I got up. And I, you can see all the creases on my face from the pillow. Isn't that lovely? Do you get that, Carol? <laughs> Creases on your face? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> and it does take an age to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, well. I'll tell you what I do, which is very clever. It's a trick for anybody if you're doing a, a, any sort of a conference call or anything. When something's going on, just take quick notes. Like I've written down here, cons rose, I looked old, early, <laughs> and then the Christmas tree. And I didn't didn't even get to the Christmas tree. So listen, uh, Carol, would you tell us about this next song? Yes. This oh, your, is your first song of your chosen song. songs. Yes, yeah, so this is our, um, I'll See You In My Dreams. Um, it, re it always reminds me of um, seeing The Bachelors for the first time in 1975, um, where it would start the show in those days. So you'd be sitting in the audience, curtains drawn, and the three spotlights would come up and each of you would sing one line and then the um, curtains would go back and you'd be introduced and there you were on the stage and then you'd be in to the next show, into the show. And um, to hear those first few lines, it just takes me back. Um, it was lovely. And then of course you ended the shows with it in those days as well. Um, and it, it was, it's always been a favorite of mine, really. Yeah. Oh, love that's it. lovely. That's lovely. So listen, shall we have a little look at what is your first favourite song? Here it comes. One, two, one, two, three. I'll see you in my dreams. Hold you in my dreams Someone took you out of my arms Still I feel the thrill of your charms I'll see you in my dreams Hold you in my dreams Someone took you out of my arms Still That once were mine Tender eyes that shine They will light my way tonight I'll see
I'll see you in my dreams They will light my lonely way tonight I'll see Lovely. Did you like that? Now let's see the let's see the applause. Carol, look at that. Stephen doesn't know this. Stephen, we got this applause thing going. Jazz hands. Like that. No, it looks wonderful. Ah, oh, what did you think of that, Stephen? Yeah, very nice. I don't know whether you can hear me. Your hand, I can hear you now. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, so Carol, was that good enough? That was brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And when you do that, that first part where you're just singing, it's like I'm back in that theater watching those spotlights, and it's yeah. lovely. Really, the first time you did it with Con on on the meeting, it was like really I was in tears. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> that was an original idea by um, Ernest Maxim, the great producer who did all the. Angela Rippin stuff on Morgan One Wise. That was all he did all that. And he was a yeah. dear, dear friend, became a dear friend of us. But he did a series with us with uh Lena Zavaroni. I mm -hmm. don't know whether you can remember that. Yeah. And the opening of each show was that. And we it were sitting, yes, yeah. Yeah, and we were sitting at grand pianos. Yeah. And he did its trick with mirrors. So the the pianos became infinitesimal. Thousands of pianos stretching away into the distance. It was all done with, and and that wasn't done with uh, CGI or anything. That was done absolutely for real with huge mirrors. Yeah, yeah. So we we decided we'd do that in our show, the normal show on stage. It was difficult to do because if you've nothing to pitch to, no. you know what I mean. You got to say, "I'll see you," and this, and that. Funny enough. Now here's the thing, Carol and everybody. You know the way you hear people have got perfect pitch? Well, it's not that they've got perfect pitch. If they've got perfect memory. Because what uh, they do is that the, I remember, I can, I can pitch to D, the note, yeah? Because it's the start note of I believe. And I've sung I believe so many times. I, mm -hmm. I believe. That's D. So if at any note I want, I can just relate to that D. So I've got perfect pitch in that respect. And that's what perfect pitch really is. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like a trick. If you know one note, you get that forever. Mm -hmm. I believe that's D. I know that's D. Mm -hmm. So we're going on, Carol. You're going to absolutely hate me. And I'm kicking myself because i was wondering i'm sitting here wondering how is it that i've got so much time and i'm so relaxed because i've got everything done in loads of time and do you know what i forgot to do carol you're going to hate me for this i forgot to transfer all your pictures because i mean i'm in a zoom studio right. at the moment and i forgot to try i can remember what so listen will you come back on the next show please oh and i've, I've done them all and yeah. they're all they're all on slides and everything. <laughs> I haven't got them to show you. It's not terrible. Let me just let me just check absolutely sure that I haven't got them. There we are. Da, 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 da. No, I haven't got them. What an idiot I am. Oh, never what, mind. What an idiot. <laughs> but uh, I'll do the tech tip and then we'll get on to your best year. Yeah? Your yeah. best year. You've got the so picture that, about you. Sorry, say again. You've got, the, you've got the photo for that one. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But but it's easy to I can describe it. I yeah, can describe it easily. Yeah. I know exactly what it was. Oh, right. But the tech tip for this week. I get into situations, and I'm sure you all do. For instance, I'm printing off these uh running orders for today, and I couldn't switch off the printer. No matter what I did. 
And there's a simple solution to that. And I'm going to do it on every computer that I've got. Get yourself a little bit of electrical tape like that, yeah? Okay, electrical tape. And then, if, if I can see, you can see, yeah. Now, put it on there, yeah? Get a, a Sharpie like that and write on it the instructions for switching off that particular bit of equipment. It's usually printers or computers. You have to either press twice or you press once. And then you have to press, some of them you press for five seconds. You know, the, you know what I'm talking about. And you will say, just put on there. And then to make it neat, a little scissors, and then cut it when you write on it, cut it like that. And then put that onto that little thing with it all written on. Press once to turn off, put it onto whatever bit of equipment it is. And honestly, that will save you hours of work. The other one is, which we all do, I'm sure John Leyland does this, is I label every single plug. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all my plugs are labeled. And it's if something goes wrong, we've got so many plugs now. If something goes wrong, you can't find where that the, the, the bit of equipment is malfunctioning. You can't find what's where it's going to. And that's what you do. You just put on each plug what it is. And that will save you a mountain of time, a mountain of time. So the next thing we've got, Carol, is the old videos. Now, what do you think of the old videos? I'm trying to think March and May 2018, what you would have been up to. You probably did a show, a couple of shows. Um, and so, you know, it'd be nice to see what you were up to, um, what Con was doing um, in the garden, probably with his potatoes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the usual one, isn't it? That's the usual one for Con. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think, probably you've been doing something with the family. Yeah. Let's have a little look. Uh, let's have a little look at what we got up to. Here we go. Now, one of the benefits of uh, having to pay, spend many, 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 many thousands on my son's education at Eastbourne College, yeah, is that he can park here. <laughs> he just has. Isn't that funny? Just park there. It's only. A short walk into Eastbourne. I've been walking into Eastbourne now. And it's Easter Saturday. Lovely time of the year. I found a new place in Eastbourne. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely cafe. I never knew it existed. And the other way, around here. Dad, I was going to buy that the first place you copied me. And I've got the whole family with me. Oliver, Emma, and Isabel. Nice walk. I'm blessed here. I can walk right out from my house. And that's the Eastbourne Congress Theatre over there, just spending 42 million renovating. And I advised on the sound and the acoustics. But over there, behind the trees, is the Lansdowne Hotel, where we hold our. our Toastmasters meetings. And here I am walking. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. That time of the year when we start walking. We're here today at Southgate Methodist Church and we're here for the Allen Rotary School, Allen Rotary School Choir Festival. And uh, we've got a great night. We certainly are. We are. We are. Some fabulous kids, yeah. some fabulous music, and it'll be a really ripping night. Safe journey home, and hopefully, we'll see you all next year.
Thank you very much. Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't you love to be in Eastbourne today? Walking down here. All the nice people walking. And I'm walking as well. Like the hat? Yeah? Good. Right. We now have a, a new group. It's the first audition. And I'd like, like you to give them a big round of applause. Absolutely beautiful. Over here we have the preparation area and that's the delightful Victoria preparing. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? We now have some sweet chili prawns. Ooh. Sweet chili prawns? Sweet chili prawns. Mm. Just about Elegant way of doing it, actually. I'm going to copy that. Very nice. Okay, I mean, I've got some sweet chilli prawns here as well. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, what a lovely way to spend an afternoon. I'm actually having a lovely one on the cup. Mmm. I've just had a delightful piece of lamb and it was gorgeous. And this is Victoria's amazing garden. Isn't that quite amazing? And that's what Granddad did, or Daddy did. Uh, no, you didn't do all of it, thank you very much. Oh, I didn't do all of it, no. I did, uh, You're not taking credit for doing Well, most of it, most of it. I designed it. Oh, you designed it. And I did quite a bit of it as well, thank you very much. You designed it and you did quite a bit of... I uh, lit that fire. You lit that fire? I oh, did, yeah, okay. Yes, yes. We've had a Constant lovely barbecue. Isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That. In the back room. In the back room. In the back room. <laughs> you can tell we've had a few drinks. <laughs> In the back. What would you call this? Back garden? Back garden, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a back garden. Yeah. Well, in Ireland we call it a backyard. Isn't that strange? In America, I think yeah, in America it's yard as well, isn't it? It is actually. Yard, yeah. Well, yeah. In Dutch backyard, we call it. Yeah. Wasn't this beautiful? Town. Town. That is lovely. I used to think that I could not go on. And life was nothing but an awful song Now I know the meaning of true love I left it on at the end because very poignant where we used to say come and see us show see us mm -hmm. in the show next month yeah. very poignant but it's an amazing thing Carol uh, have you ever met lost anybody close to you oh yes both parents yeah yeah any any brothers or sisters you've lost? No, from? I haven't got any brothers or sisters. No, yeah. no, just I, I, I mean yeah. it's over twenty years since they both passed away. So, yeah. but yeah, um, dad was through cancer and mum 
died suddenly in the night and I found her. So yeah, it's just yeah. a, a shock. But I think you, at the time, I sort of went into automatic pilot. It's like it didn't deal with it straight away, if you know what I mean. You knew you had things you've got to do and just got on with it. But it takes a while to sink in then. But I, I love the, those video diaries were lovely. Um, you know, we used to put them on every month, didn't you? Um, yeah. And lovely to see the family and um, the children as they're growing up as well. Mm. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say, really, I'm, I'm ready now, actually. But <laughs> what I was going to say is that uh, I've got a strange relationship as regards con going. Mm. And I do feel that something inside me is telling me that con has looked after me in this respect, that he has not allowed me to miss him. No. It's, not, it's a weird thing to say. Mm. But I actually don't miss Con, and and that's in a nice way. It's yeah. like, when I look at something like that, I've just looked at, yeah, there's no twinge of remorse or or missing or no. sadness or anything. And I really, and I say this to people, I really put that down to the fact that I, I tried my best to do everything for Con that he wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. So there's no stone left unturned in any shape or form. No stone left unturned no. at all. And I think that possibly is the secret. Mm -hmm. you, you see people and, and they're really crying their eyes out. And in a dreadful state, my, my wife, Sandy, she, she is still in a dreadful state over her mother. And that was 30 years ago. Yeah. But yeah. she still Things goes, can bring it back. Yeah, she yeah. still goes on about her, her, her mother. Yeah, but well, I think as well, like with mine, um, you've got the memories that are always there, so that keeps you going, doesn't it? Really, yeah, um, good memories, good memories, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Well, I know that your best year was 2018. That's right, yes. And you said a lovely picture was you and your dear husband. No, no, friend. Life, par life partner, yeah. friend, yeah. Friend, and, yeah. And a lovely picture of the two of you on the London Eye. Right, Tell yeah. us about that day. Why is it the best day? Well, we, were, we went to London just for a couple of days and it was part of my 60th birthday celebrations. Um, so we we went up on the train, um, first class, had to do it special, um, then up to Paddington, taxi to the hotel, which is the hotel that overlooks the London Eye, um, which was originally the London Council offices. When you see pictures looking from Westminster across, you can see this huge long building and that was it. It's now a Premier Inn. So we stayed there. That was lovely. So then we went straight on to the London Eye. Um, and the, the only downside of that was that looking across to Westminster, um, the um, Big Ben was all covered in scaffolding. Um, so we couldn't see it properly. Um, it's not now, obviously, as we know, it's all uncovered now and it looks beautiful. Um, but yeah, so that was lovely. Um, but to start that year, the, the year started with a trip, my first holiday abroad to Gran Canaria. That started the year, first time over there. Um, and it was lovely. Um, lots of trips out um, and the, some of the best trips were the Canarian potatoes. Uh, see, you, you, I think I saw in one of your videos once you'd found somewhere, was it in Eastbourne, where they they serve them, the Canadian potatoes, you know, the ones I think, I think you did, because I remember thinking about it. And then um, also gallons and gallons of sangria. Anyway, going back to the birthday, um, we did all the sites that couple of days. Um, we went to Madame Tussauds, where we brushed shoulders with, Royalty, Sir Winston Churchill, Tom Cruise even. I have a photo taken with Tom Cruise. Photos taken with the royal family so on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. <laughs> um, and then we went to two shows. So we went and saw Mamma Mia and um, 42nd Street, um, which had got Bonnie Langford in it. That was really, really good. All the dancing in that, the tap and everything. 
Um, we also had an exclusive tour of the Houses of Parliament with the with the um, a, a representative for, of our local MP here in Devon. Uh, so he showed us all around the Palace of Westminster. We didn't get into the House of Commons because um, they were sitting that day, so we couldn't see that. Um, so saw where, obviously, where the Queen last year was lying in state. We saw all that. Um, and we had, um, oh, where are we? Yeah, other, so other than that, the other, other celebrations for the 60th was um, a lovely afternoon tea at a local hotel. Lo at a local hotel, um, which had all the sandwiches with the crust cut off and cream, cream, um, jam and cream on, well, I can't believe what I'm Scott here. Um, Lots of cream cakes, Deck. We had lots of cream cakes, but we ate them very daintily. Didn't get any cream on our noses at all. Um, and yeah, so that was that was my 2018. So something to never forget, really. <laughs> that, that is brilliant, Carol. That's brilliant. That's lovely. That's marvelous. You have you have an exciting life, don't you? Yeah, well, when I when I do something, I really go all out. But then I'll go for months and I don't do anything. <laughs> there we are. I can build up to it. <laughs> Listen, tell it. Tell us now about the, uh, the the next one. Your my best friend. Right. So yes, this is the next song. It's deck is queuing up. It's my best friend. Um. So I remember you singing this first. I think probably in the early eighties on stage. And I remember seeing you sing it on the TV on us, and it was a program called Sunday Best. Um, John's nodding. <laughs> um, and then, um, yeah, you carried on singing it on stage. And then the video that you did for, for our Zoom meeting was a lovely tribute to Sandy as well as your best friend, which I think is lovely. So that's that's my reason for the choice. And here it is.
see what the applause was like for that. Let me get this onto gallery view, gallery view, gallery view. There's gallery view. Look at that. That was amazing. And Adrian's with us. Ah, that's lovely. That's lovely. And Twyla's with us now. That's lovely. Thank you, Twyla. Um, I, what the, the one thing, I always smile when I see that track or hear it. Um, Con was terrible. Uh, he, he was really terrible. He he hated not being the focus of attention. Honestly, he was one of those guys in a very nice way. And if you ever saw, I was always telling you off because at the end of these sounds of Sunday, we come to the end and we do. I say, no, come, we'll have a big finish right here. And goodbye. And then kind of go, Oh, and by the way, I said, Con, don't, that's the end. That's it. We finish on a high. And he'd always come in because he wanted to be, I don't know, the focus of it. But on that track, if you listen very carefully, you'll hear there's a mouth organ at the start. And that's Con. <laughs> he wouldn't let me do a track completely on my own. He, he just had to do something. And he, I remember him saying, oh, listen, I've got this little mouth organ in my pocket. <laughs> and he wasn't really a mouth organ player. He played the big mouth organs and all that. Yeah. He wasn't a harmonica player. And I was like, oh, oh, honestly, God, he was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. But Lynn, it's birthday time. I will just have to shout, it's birthday time! <laughs> it's birthday time! Okay. Okay. That's lovely. So, Lynn, what better? Have we got any birthdays this week? Yes, we have. Oh, it's we for have. Av. Av has, and she's not with us today, but she always watches the playback and she'd be delighted to see the birthday dedication and the cake, wherever oh, it came from. Yeah. So, uh, so, are you going to blow it out? Who's going to blow it out? Is Carol got it? Let Carol blow it out. That, that'd yeah. be good. Yeah. Good. It's just being brought in now. The courier is bringing it. How far has it come this time then? It's, it's, it's the, uh, I, I, I don't know who, I think it's Royal Mail actually. Oh. And they tell you, we'll just see Not what the every, label is. Wait now, Peru, made in Peru, it says. This is incredible. It's Peruvian. So this is a Peruvian cake. So what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Av. Uh, and Av. there's also a lady that's got a birthday. It's just come up on the chat thing. Twila. Twyla. Twyla. Her birthday yeah, this month as well. Oh, lovely. Twyla, my <laughs> dear friend from... She's, she's actually beaming in from, uh, from California. Wow. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. And uh, how old are you now, Twyla? You're 163, isn't it? Close, 85. 80? You're not. Wow. You're 85. Uh, and oh. I'm, I'm going to have a big bash. I'm going to party all of February. So listen, Twyla, you'll have to blow out the candles then. Will you blow out oh, the okay. candles? I will blow. I will blow very hard. Now, the way we do this is very interesting because uh, you go one, two, three, and then you blow, yeah? And then okay. that blow comes all the way into your computer, all the way up to the satellites, all the way and comes right the way down over Eastbourne, comes right down to Eastbourne in here and into my computer and magically blows out these candles. So listen, okay. will you go the one, two, three and blow? Yeah. I will do that. Okay. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Ha! No, Twyla, Twyla. Yeah? You're supposed to shut up once you've said blow. <laughs> I was blowing. Because the, the trick is, the trick is, you see, when I go, ha, it turns on the camera onto this one, and then you see the magic. Did you see the magically blow out? Did you? No? No. No! Oh dear, do that again. Could you light the candles again? You haven't dear? sung to them, Dick. What? You haven't, you haven't sung happy birthday. No, I am going to do that now. Oh, that's all right. Because Lynn didn't oh. give me the other lady's name. Lynn? 
Lynn, the other lady's name, please. It's Av. 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 Oh, it's, it's Av. That's good. Av, yeah. Happy birthday to you, Av and Twyla and the cake from Peru. Happy birthday to you, Av and Twyla and the cake from Peru. Happy birthday to Av, Twyla and the cake from Peru. Happy birthday to you. Now, Twyla, put yourself on there again. Okay, open up your thing. No, no, I tell you what, leave it closed. Will you go? Oh, no, you have to open it for the one, two, three. And then quiet, please. One, two, three. You have to blow. Ha! Did it work? I, I don't know whether it's worked or not. <laughs> there we are. Thank you very much, assistant. Could you bring that back to Peru, please? Thank you. Very, and thank you very much, Twyla. And happy birthday, Twyla. Oh, that was lovely. And and the next the next song is going to be a lovely song. I know it is. Tell us all about why the whys and wherefores of this one. So the next song is my favourite song ever. And it's I Believe. Um that song whenever you sang it on stage it was so exciting and it's that last i mean i know you don't do it now but when you used to sing it originally that long note at the end that con would hold it was like well it sent goosebumps all over my body it was amazing can i tell you a quick story about that we were <laughs> doing a season at it on the palladium and yeah, Twyla won't know this. When it came to the end, a big key change and everything, and da 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 da. da. Then I, and Connor do it, then I know why. I, and he'd hold it as long as he could. Billy, bow, 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 this way to the exit. Which we're on the plane in this night. And we were really working too hard. We were really stretched. We were doing TV. We were recording. We were doing everything. And we went on. And Con gave no indication. He never did that he wasn't well or anything like that. And he, there we were singing. And the big key change came along. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry, oh, touch a leaf or scissors, then I know why. Ah! And he just went. Oh, backwards like that oh, oh, on the stage oh, <laughs> and the orchestra kept playing Billy Bob, Bob, Bob. Oh. Con, John and I took him by the hand he was lying on the floor I just dragged him off stage oh, gosh. oh dear oh yeah good oh. good good memories but oh. listen let's have a look at what we did with I Believe Someone will come to show the way I believe, I believe I believe above the storm The smallest prayer will still be heard I believe that someone in the great somewhere Here's every word Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Or touch a leaf Or see the sky Then I know why I believe Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Or touch a
Mercy applause. Yes. Look at that. Amazing. And Twyla, I hope you're applauding, Twyla, because you switched your camera off. But that's marvellous one. Adrian, Adrian Ross, what did you think of that? Scene? I love that song. It's one of my favourites. It always has. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. No, and Joy, you liked it as well, yeah? yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I loved it oh, very much. Yeah. That's great. That's lovely. And so listen, we're coming up to the end now. And next month, we're going to have the full story, the life story of Carol. And Carol, you are wonderful. You are wonderful Thank today. You. Tell us how wonderful you were. Well, I, I did my best, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I've come across the right. I don't know if I'll be brave enough to watch the replay. but <laughs> I don't know if Lynn ever watched hers. She wasn't all that sure whether she'd watch hers, but I'm not sure when it was on last time, but we'll have to see. <laughs> it, it will be absolutely brilliant. It will be brilliant right now. I'm I just say sure. that. that keep keep I, talking, go on. I, I, I believe um, as soon as it starts, that first drum roll, my, it's just amazing how it makes me feel. The tingles down my spine. The minute I, and I used to be exactly the same sat in the audience and I'd sit there, my mum would be beside of me and I'd hear that drum roll and I'd nod your, here we go. And it was just, just it's just a fantastic song and I just love it. And it's, have, lovely, it's lovely to see Colm there. It's yeah, lovely. I, I have used that timp roll, as a timp, timpani roll, uh, I've nicked it off that and used it in so many other records. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that the way? I, I don't know. I forget now the guy, the guy's name. We knew him ever so well, the timpani player, and and he used he used to hit it really hard, and it goes boom, mm. and then he quieten down and then bring it up again. Yeah. And I've never heard any other timp player do that. Yeah, it's no. absolutely unique. It's probably one of the best timp roles ever in history. And I've used it in all the re-recordings. We re-recorded for the Pope, the current Pope. Yeah. And he wanted it done. And we did it on a gold record for him. And it was presented to him and all that by a friend of ours. And uh, even on that, I nicked the original Tim Pro because you, you just couldn't better. You couldn't better. It no, at all. So, so oh. shall I tell him about the last song? Oh, yes, do, please. Because... Um, Nobody suggested this. I just heard it somewhere. I don't know, on the radio or something. And I thought, do you know, I could do a really good version of that and make it totally different. Because I didn't want it to be as the original, which to me, uh, you probably don't know. This. I'm not a great fan of the 60s stuff. I, I really am not. Mainly because I was there. <laughs> and, and I knew how it was done. And I knew... I, I knew the awfulness of some of it. So, and some of it was terrific. The Beatles stuff, for instance, I fantastic. Moody Blues, fantastic. All that, the Beach Boys, fantastic. But there was an awful lot of rubbish around. It really was. We all remember all the good stuff. <laughs> and we all think, oh, the 60s were terrific. I always think the, this decade is just as good as the 60s, if not better. And I love modern music. But my idea was to take this song and bring it right up to 2023. I hope I succeeded. And I hope you like this because I loved doing it. And I think it's good. Here we go. Well, no one told me about her The way she died Well, no one told me about her How many people cried But it's too late to say you're sorry How would I know? Why should I care? Please don't bother try to find her She's not there let me tell you about the way she looked, the way she decked, and the color of her hair. Her voice was soft and cool, her eyes were clear and bright, but she's not there. Told me about her. Oh, they on you. 
But it's too late to say you're sorry How would I know? Why should I care? Please don't bother trying to find her She's not there Well, let me tell you about the way she looks The way she acts and the color of her hair Her voice was soft and cool Her eyes were clear and bright But she's not there Good job. because the copyright people get annoyed if I don't. This is lovely. And it's a Xanton prior post-production. Isn't that lovely? And now I'm going on to gallery view and see what everybody thought of my solo creation. Ah, look at that. Con, Twilight, you're not applauding. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's terrific. I just have to say to Con, Con, I don't need you. Look, I did the fantastic. Look at look at that applause, Con. Look, look. <laughs> well, that's terrific. Thank you very much. I I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, Carol, would you like to say your goodbyes and say that the next show is going to be on March the twelfth, and then we're going to hear Carol's life story, which is going to be terrific, and I know it's terrific. Because the photographs are, they're wonderful photographs. I, I roared laughing at some of the photographs. I really, that, that first one outside the shop. Yeah. Was that was that your father? Mom, my mum and dad and my grandparents and me. Yeah. Ah, your grandparents yeah. and you as yeah. a child. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you everyone for listening in. <laughs> and um, thanks to Deck for having me co-host. I've really had a nice time hearing the songs and somebody else needs to have a go now. Who's going oh, to be yeah. next? oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh Who's yes. Who's going to be oh, next? Yes. Margaret, you look, you look like you're up for it. Yes, I'll, I'll what, talk to you. We've got... what, date, what date did you say? Um, well, it won't be March. It'll be the one after that, which would be March, April, April. Yeah. Yeah, first Sunday. Lovely, you're up for it, Margaret. Yeah, That's the, I'll, do, that. I'll do. I'll do April. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk you through it. I'll send you an email, personal email, and I'll 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 make sure you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But we've had a lovely time this week. Yeah. While I'm talking to you, Deck, I've I've sent a, a request to um, Lincoln for you to see if I can get you a signed um, photograph. Of those little red things. A signed photograph of those little red things. That fly in the sky. Oh. Oh, the red arrows. Oh, <laughs> marvellous. Ma- Margaret's a great fan of the red arrows, and I love them a bit. Yeah. That that would be lovely. Thank you very much, Margaret. Yeah. So, I've, I've, I've requested one for you. Brilliant. You're a star. Absolute star. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for coming in. Sorry there's so few. Maybe if we all do a big push and, and get all our friends to come on and we we'll get more and more and more and more and more people. But that's terrific. Well, maybe we're coming into the time of the year where people don't want to look at Zoom, but we'll see. We'll try. So we'll see you at the next one, which is on the 12th of March. Don't forget. And Maybe say goodbye to Twyla and goodbye to Stephen and goodbye to John, Adrian and goodbye to Linda and goodbye to Lynn. And of course, Lynn, the other Linda has to leave because of the strobing. Yeah, uh, Carol, sorry about that. And Carol and Joy and Margaret. And of course, goodbye to me and goodbye to Con. Goodbye, Con. <laughs> I'll see you in a month's time. 
Okay, and here uh, we go for the end of the show. She's not there. Well, let me tell you about the way she looked, the way she acted, and the color of her hair. Her voice was soft and cool. Her eyes were clear and bright. But she's not there.